Hey guys, so let's go to Google Trends and try to see the interest over time for this keyword um, AI agents. So let's search for AI agents and you can just explore and see the interest over time. Let's uh, do this uh, worldwide and then let's go for uh, from past 12 months. Um, and yeah, as you can see, the trend is growing up and above, and I feel like AI agents are the future uh, in the AI space. And today in this video, we are going to talk about uh, AI agents and the new uh, AI framework that was introduced uh, just someday. Hey guys, so let's get to the main topic that is AI agents and the framework. So. Uh, Everyone today is talking about agentic applications, building agentic uh, workflows, um, agentic rag workflows, and all that. And uh, why not? Because every company today wants to be an AI company and uh, uh, use the modern approaches to software development and uh, engineering. And creating AI agents and agentic workflows have become the forefront and kind of important topic in the AI industry today. And uh, in the same regard, um, recently we saw uh, Pyrentic AI uh, as an open source Python agent uh, framework designed to make it easier and less painful to build production grid um, applications with uh, generative AI. And um, along with uh, Langchain, Llama Index, uh, Autogen, Crew AI, and Swarm from OpenAI, we, we um, recently saw one more contender that is uh, Pyrentic AI. And today we're going to talk about that and also going to build a simple workflow using uh, Pyrentic AI. So let's get started. So let's first understand what is an AI agent, right? So an AI agent is basically um, an agent that will help you uh, basically complete a complex task. So we have LLMs basically to complete a lot of tasks if the uh, if the input is kind of very easy and one LLM can easily handle this. But what if your um, query or the, um, yeah, your query is a little complex. That time, uh, a single LLM, LLM can't handle your query and it needs a kind of uh, help and tool usage, uh, APIs to connect with, some kind of integrations uh, that will help the whole system to basically complete that complex task, right? So in that, uh, that's where AI agents come into the picture as the savior. So AI agent, as you can see here, a simple architecture, it has basically intelligence in the form of LLM and knowledge base that is the data. Um, and then there are tools, you can do tool calling, a lot of API integration. So basically this is a simple architecture of uh, AI agent. So uh, with the recent, um, recent um, AI advancements, AI agents uh, have become talk of the town uh, with the tools and platforms like uh, Crew AI, Autogen, and um, uh, recently from OpenAI that is Swarm. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see how a multi-agent uh, workflow actually uh, works, right? So as you can see, here is a multi-agent uh, workflow um, where uh, more than one uh, agent comes into the picture to basically help you resolve a complex query, right? Uh, so there is a retriever agent, there is a generator agent, there is a guardrails agent, there is a coordinator agent, evolves agent. They all come together uh, uh, to basically help you uh, solve a complex problem. So um, as you can see here, it's a simple diagram of how multi agents coming together with their own perspective, roles and responsibilities to basically solve a complex uh, uh, query. Uh, so this we're gonna see in a, a much broader sense in our um, next uh, slides and the tutorial, thanks. And uh, here's a simple slide that talks about uh, choosing the right framework for your AI applications. And uh, as you can see, it's self-explanatory, right? Um, if you need RAG and data processing, uh, Llama Index is the right choice. And uh, if you need a sequential workflow, LangGraph is the right choice. And uh, if you need a kind of a team collaboration where you can create a different uh, AI, efficient AI uh, agents, 
um, that's where crew ai can come handy and if you need uh, autonomous ai agents that can do their job uh, easily um, that that's where uh, microsoft autogen comes into the picture and if you need search and pipeline focus that's where haystack um, uh, comes handy uh, so you can go through this one by one uh, all of this, all of these frameworks are um, kind of complementary to one another, but they have their own advantages and disadvantages and also uh, strong features um, uh, which are comparatively uh, different from one another. Uh, so you can choose accordingly and uh, this is a basic, uh, a basic, basic workflow. So you can go through this and um, see what you can do. Thanks. So here is a simple uh, notebook tutorial of uh, Pyrantic AI uh, agent framework. Uh, so as you can see the first sentence, it's the definition of uh, uh, Pyrantic AI. It's an uh, Python uh, agent framework, uh, open source framework designed to make it less painful to build production grade applications with uh, generative AI. Uh, so first thing is to install Pyrantic AI. Uh, that's what we are doing and also we are doing um installing some dev tools and uh, we are mentioning our open ai api key um and then um we're just testing out with uh, uh with the open ai um model gpt4 model uh with the simple uh, system prompt saying hey be very helpful um ai engineer and reply as you are leading a billion dollar project so if you ask like um uh, how to create a Pyrantic AI data class, it can just tell you um, the response like this. And uh, let's let's again import some more uh, uh, some more um, libraries and dependencies. Uh, and then uh, if you ask it, again, ask it using um, an agentic model and then using the OpenAI GPT-40 model, uh, tell me a place to party place in uh, in Europe for my trip in June. So it will say like cities, uh, Ibiza, country Spain, uh, popular place for, um, yeah, this is how it is. Uh, it's going to tell you and uh, this is how you can run the whole agentic thing uh, just with the agent stuff. Um, and then uh, streaming of text, how you can do is this is the um, proper system setup. Uh, so from Pyrantic AI import import the agent and mention the uh, agent with the model and I'm using GPT-40 model uh, and then if you ask like uh, what is Pyrantic AI um, and then um, it'll be like um, uh, the results if you want to stream uh, it'll be like as of my last update there is no specific entity or product called Pyrantic AI however this name seems to be so it, it, it creates all this um, synchronous uh, um, uh, responses back to the user uh, and uh, running agents um, is kind of easy. Um, uh, this is the whole default uh, code uh, from Pyrantic AI import agent. Again, I'm using here GPT-4. Um, uh, the I'm asking like first color patent um, in world. And the next question uh, is who is the CEO of Pyrantic? And then the um, other one is like, what is um, uh, PayPal Mafia? So if you ask it, like the first color pattern in the world as per available records, it's this, that. And then if you, you can also stream the uh, stream it using uh, this, uh, saying, hey, I'm sorry, but I couldn't find any company named Pyrantic AI. I mean, basically first two questions were not with the stream and the third one is with a uh, stream. So you can run a stream uh, and then ask like, what is uh, PayPal Mafia? As you can see, it will start with a um, synchronous um, thing uh, in a loop saying the PayPal, the PayPal Mafia is a nickname. The PayPal Mafia is a nickname given to a group and it will start expanding, take, uh, takes the input and then takes it as an, um, uh, you know, uh, provides the output. Uh, so that's how uh, it creates uh, the streaming part. And um, that's how you can basically use uh, the Pydentic AI to create agentic uh, uh, applications. Uh, so yeah, I mean, um, um, hope you understood uh, how Pydentic AI can be used in your agentic uh, frameworks. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna share the resources in the description so that you can go through and try for yourself, thanks. So I basically used uh, Satem's code repo here to basically understand how the Pyrantic uh, 
AI agent workflow framework works. So uh, this is what exactly I um, uh, we saw in, in our notebook code. So yeah, I'm gonna share the link of uh, this repo in the description so that you can go and try it yourself. Uh, thanks.